Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about color calibrating your Windows 10 or Windows 11 display. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in DCCW. Best results should come back with DCCW. Go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and select next, next again, and then next one more time. Follow along with the on-screen prompts here so you can see test. It's going to adjust the gamma settings on your monitor. So you can move the slider to minimize the visibility of smaller dots in the middle of each circle. So by moving it up, it'll make it less visible. And if you drag it further down, it'll become more visible. Once you've made your selection, you go ahead and select next. You can also adjust the brightness and contrast controls by selecting next here and next. And then adjusting the settings on your monitor, you can go ahead and make the brightness settings higher or lower. And then using the brightness controls on your display, you can move these settings higher or lower until you can distinguish the shirt from the suit with the X marker barely visible. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and select next. You can adjust the contrast settings as well. Again, these would be adjustments on your display itself. You proceed with next here. And then you can also adjust the color balance as well between the red, green, and blue colors here. And then you would select next. And then you can either keep the current calibration or go back to the previous calibration. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and select the current calibration and then finish. You can turn on clear type as well which will allow you to see your screen with sharper, clearer, and easier to read text. Or you can just keep that off, doesn't really matter, and then you would select next. And then you could go through the different text samples as to which one looks better than the other in terms of the appearance. And then you just would select finish, and that's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.